Hello and welcome to the next video of our channel Practical Hope. In this video we are going to solve uh, ordinary differential equations using shooting method. We are going to consider boundary value problems and uh, we will be dealing with two types of boundaries Richlet and Mixed. An ordinary differential equation is an equation involving only ordinary derivatives of uh, one or more function with respect to a single independent variable. There are no partial derivatives. These are the different types of boundary conditions. We are going to consider Richlet and Mix boundary. Next, shooting method. It's a method to solve a boundary value problem by reducing it to an initial value problem. We find solutions using different initial conditions till that solution satisfies the given boundary conditions. We shoot out trajectories in different directions from one boundary until we find the trajectory that hits the other boundary. Say these are the two boundaries from x equal to a to b and y a and y b are the two corresponding values of y. Say we start with uh, some initial slope y1 prime and we solve the differential equation then y1 b is the final value of y at x equal to b. You can see we have not reached the other boundary. So we start with another trial another slope y2 prime at x equal to a now we reached at y2. In this way we keep on doing the trials until we find the slope yc prime that hits the correct boundary. yc means corrected slope. Now instead of uh, doing multiple shootings we are considering the case of uh, linear differential equations. We start with two trials for the initial slope and uh, we'll get two values of y at x equal to b that is y1b and y2b the two point form of a line passing through two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is given by this equation. So if we replace y by initial slope y1 prime and uh, x by final value of y then we get an equation like this. So we can calculate correct slope using this equation. And once we have uh, y a and y prime a the boundary value problem becomes an uh, initial value problem which can be solved by well known methods like uh, Euler RK2 or RK4. Here we are going to consider RK2 method that is uh, Rung Kuta method of uh, second order because it has reasonable accuracy. Next let's uh, discuss Rung Kuta second order method in brief. Say this is a differential equation that we want to solve and uh, we are given the initial conditions. Let S1 be the slope at the starting point x1. So S1 is fx1 y1. Next point x2 will be x1 plus h. h is the step size. Then uh, say S2 be the slope at the next point x2. So S2 is uh, fx1 plus h y1 plus s1 h. Say S is s1 plus s2 by 2. Hence y2 can be Calculate it like this y1 plus hs. In general, yi plus 1 is yi plus hs, where s is given by this expression. si is this, and si plus 1 can be calculated like this. Let's take an example now. Say this is the second order uh, differential equation that we want to solve using shooting method. x lies between 0 and pi by 2. These are the boundary conditions. Initial value of y is 1 and final value of y is also 1. Say dy by dx equal to z, then dz by dx equal to minus y. Now initial value of y is 1, but we don't know the initial value of z, that is initial value of slope. So we are going to assume two values of uh, z0, zt1 and zt2. We can calculate different values of y using this expression. si and si plus are given by these expressions and similarly we can evaluate different values of z using this expression. Now let yn1 and yn2 are the two final values of y at x equal to pi by 2 using two trials of initial slope zt1 and zt2 then correct slope will be this zca. Finally with correct initial slope and y0 we can easily solve the differential equation. Let's move on to the programming now. First give a suitable title. Solve OD second order with the uh, Richlet boundary using uh, shooting and RK2 method. 
clear clc clf function protection func prot1 we are writing because we are going to uh, define multiple functions here and in order to check whether a function has been redefined or not we have given its value 1 at 1 it will show a warning message if a function is redefined then we define the initial value of x 0 final value of x pi by 2 h 0 0.1 step size then we define the range of x from xi to xf with step size h then n is the length of x because we need to know the size of x that is how many points we are going to consider then yi initial value of y and yf final value of y then we define a function f with input parameters x y and z this is a differential equation this uh, expression is independent of x and z in this case but in general if you use any other expression then they can be x or z so in order to make it general we are writing x y z here next we define another function for rk2 method here y and z are the output and uh, the input are the initial values of yi and zi so yi and zi equal to y1 and z1 then we define a for loop that will run from 1 to n minus 1 s1 equal to zi and p1 equal to the value of the function f at xi yi zi then we calculate s2 and p2 like this then we can calculate y as discussed earlier and z so we can get different values of y and z then finally end and end function next we write shooting method first define a for loop that will run from 1 to 2 because we are going to give uh, two trials of the initial slope zt is the initial slope so it is input enter guess string i for initial slope dy by dx so while executing it will ask for the two trials of the initial slope so yz equal to rk2 using this initial slope we can solve the differential equation using rk2 method yn i equal to y n comma 1 here we are storing the final value of y and finally end then we can calculate the correct value of slope using this expression now once we have the correct value of the slope we can now again solve the differential equation using rk2 method yi is the initial value and zc is the correct value of the initial slope what we are going to get at the output are y and z now we can display x y z and we can also plot x y then x label and y label with font size 6 execute first we need to save it enter guess 1 say we write uh, 0 guess 2 say we write 5 so this is the variation of y with x and these are the different values of y and z at different values of x now once uh, we have the correct value of the initial slope we can also change the range of the plot Say we copy this. We paste here. Now here we can change the final value of x. Say we plot till uh, 5 pi. So now the final value of x is 5 pi. So now if I execute. 0 5 now we have increased the range of x to 5 pi then moving on to the next case that is mixed boundary it is more or less similar to the previous case just uh, one thing we need to change 
as discussed earlier dy by dx equal to z dz by dx equal to y initial conditions we will assume two initial values of the slopes and we can calculate y and z using these two equations now let zn1 and zn2 are the two final values of slopes at x equal to 1 using two trials of initial slopes zt1 and zt2 then correct slope will be given by this expression here we are assuming that uh, the two trial initial values of the slope that we have considered are linearly proportional to the final value of the slope that is the value of the slope at x equal to 1 finally with correct initial slope and y0 we can solve the differential equation using rk2 method let's move on to the programming first give a suitable title then clear clc clf and function protection 1 initial value of x0 final value 1 step size 0 0.1 this is the range of x from xi to xf with step size h n length of x initial value of y 1 and uh, final value of the slope 0 that is uh, y prime at uh, xf is 0 then we define the function as we did earlier this time the differential equation is different it is y in the previous case it was minus y we define the function for rk2 method as discussed previously we define a for loop then we calculate s1 p1 we calculate s2 p2 and finally we can calculate the values of y and z as discussed earlier finally end and end function next shooting we define a for loop that will run from 1 to 2 zt trials for the two initial values of the slope then we solve the differential equation and we store the final value of slope that is we are storing final value of z for the two trials of the initial slope then end then we calculate the correct value of the initial slope as discussed earlier now with correct slope zc and uh, initial value of y we can solve the differential equation using rk2 method we can display x y z and we can plot x and y finally x label and y label with font size 6 execute first we need to save it so guess 1 say 1 guess 2 5 so this is the plot of y with x and these are the different values of y and z for different values of x now in this program we have assumed that uh, the initial trials of the slopes that we are considering are uh, linearly proportional to the final value of the slopes that we are getting at x equal to 1 we can confirm that also say we are not uh, executing this and uh, say we take five trials plot z t with z n again execute say we give different values of the slope 0 say 2 6 9 and say 15 so now you can see we are getting a linear curve so this graph is showing that uh, initial value of the slope that we are considering is linearly proportional to the final value of the slope that is slope at x equal to 1 if you like this video share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet